EMI Productions has assembled an elite team of scientists from all over the world to put together this drawing on clouds. Please enjoy. First up, Dr. John Gregson from Liverpool. Yes, thank you, very good. Our first cloud today is the Stratus cloud. Now, this is a profile view of a Stratus cloud. You may not recognize it since we usually see it like this. These are your typical gloomy overcast days, simply dreadful. These clouds are found at 6,000 feet and below in our atmosphere. These form when weak vertical air currents lift a thin layer of air high enough to get condensation. Also formed when a layer of air is cooled from below its dew point and water vapor condenses into liquid droplets. Stratocumulus also is in the same area of the sky at 6,000 feet or below. Formed when air is rising, you can often see some blue sky. Nimbostratus also forms 6,000 feet and below and forms in a more stable atmosphere where warm air overruns colder air, light, steady precipitation. Finally, the alto stratus forming between 6,000 feet and 20,000 feet, usually ahead of a storm, producing a light precipitation. Our next guest is Dr. Heinrich Vladimir from Germany. Yes, donke. What we have next, people, is the cumulus cloud family. Number one is your basic cumulus, located at 6,000 feet or below. These are formed by rising warm air that condenses. Bubbles of air trapped inside gives the puffy look. This is the type of cloud people will draw when you say, draw a cloud. Now, its large friend, the cumulonimibus, are the massive storms, mostly thunderstorms and are very dangerous. They are near the ground to 50,000 feet. Formed by fast-moving convective updrafts, they have flat bottoms, towering heights, and are shaped like anvils. They contain water vapor, droplets, or ice crystals. Last, we have the autocumulus. They form from 6,000 to 20,000 feet by a slow uplift of air from a cold front. These look like sheets of cotton balls and can be a sign of a coming storm. Last but not least is Dr. John Scott. Sadly, I cannot draw. So here is a picture of a cirrus cloud forming at 20,000 feet or above. They are composed of ice crystals or wind-blown crystals give the thin, feathery appearance. Now the cirrus stratus, which is a very thin cloud, sometimes hardly visible. So I drew this one. Located at above 18,000 feet, these are made when water vapor freezes into ice crystals and are blown by the wind. The last cloud of this presentation is our beautiful cirrocumulus. Looks like a high alto cumulus cloud with white sheets and ripples. These clouds are a good sign indicating good weather. <laughs> ¶¶ 